So, mahirap ba maging isang DepEd teacher? Para sa akin, a teacher's plate is almost full every time. Ang dami-dami niyang ginagawa eh. It's better to be alone than to be with the wrong people. Hey, what's up guys? And this is Cheryl and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about the DepEd ranking, lesson and tutorials, and other teacher-related stuff. So for today's video, let's discuss what it's like to be a public school teacher. Pero wait, bago tayo mag-start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there at hit the notification bell para mag updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos natin every single week. Before we begin, this video is brought to you by Twinkle. Twinkle is an online learning resource for all subjects in all grade levels that has everything from worksheets to cell phone applications for your kids. Check this website to learn more. So, mahirap ba maging isang DepEd teacher? Para sa akin, yes in many forms. Kasi once na makapasok ka na sa system, you have to familiarize yourself with a lot of things. Kung magiging teacher ka na sa public school, unang-una, sa first year of teaching mo, you have to master the content for every lesson that you teach. Sa second year of teaching mo, doon ka pala makakapag-isip ng innovative ways to teach those lessons kasi alam mo na ang nag-work na strategy at ang hindi. Then, pagdating sa third year, doon mo palang mai-incorporate yung mastery mo ng content and yung alam mong strategies na nag-work para doon sa bawat lesson. Imagine doing that for three years and three years is a very long time. Kailangan makilala mo din ang iba't ibang school forms ng isang public school teacher such as the SF1, SF2, SF3, SF5, SF8, SF9, SF10. Ano-ano ang nilalagay doon, saan sila nakukuha, at paano sila ginagamit. Oh, no! Pero bago pa makuha ang ibang school forms ng isang teacher, kailangan mo muna silang i-enroll sa online learning information system ng DepEd. Pero kadalasan, or minsan, may experience mo na magpupuyat ka just to enroll those learners kasi lalong-lalo na kapag beginning of the school year, heavy ang traffic doon sa website na yon So, ma-experience mong gumising ng 4 o'clock in the morning or mapupuyat ka, ihintay mo mag-12 o'clock in the midnight para lang ma-enroll kasi yun lang yung tanging time na okay ang website nila. So, it's very common sa ginagawa ng mga teachers, especially during enrollment and at the end of the school year kapag nag encode na kami ng final grades or final average ng mga bata. And aside from that, kailangan din naming i-match or matingnan kung tama ba ang records ng birth certificate at ng data sa online learning information system for every learner. Kasi kailangan habang maaga pa lang or habang bata pa yung student, kailangan correct na yung files para hindi tayo nagkakaproblema kapag graduate ang isang learner. Kailangan mo rin makilala si RPMS PPST at ang anak niyang si portfolio na makapal at kung ano-ano ang mga nilalagay namin doon. And once na makapasok ka na sa system, you'll realize kung bakit laging nag may documentation ang teachers, bakit kailangan may mga pictures kami for every activity is because of that. Ngayon kung capable ka, bibigyan ka pa ng coordinatorships. Now, this is an extra role aside from being an advisor or a subject teacher. No may face-to-face -face classes pa, this is optional though. May pinaghahandaan tayong iba't ibang competitions. Whether it's co-curricular or extracurricular such as yung Olympics, science festivals, MTAP, press conferences, at marami pang iba. Now, aside from being a teacher, syempre magko-coach ka din ng mga manlalaro natin or mga contestants natin kasi gusto din naman natin magbigay ng pride sa ating school. This is optional though, unless i-designate ka talaga as the official coach of that pupil or student. So as you can see, or habang nagkakwento ako, no, you'll realize that a teacher's plate is almost full every time. Ang dami-dami niyang ginagawa eh. And most of the time, ganun yung ginagawa ng isang public school teacher every single year unless na may magbabago na namang part ng sistema. So, kailangan meron na namang kami i-examine, aaralin, mamasterin. Ganun ang ganun every single time. And it amazes me na laging nagagawa ng teacher ang trabaho niya kahit na ang stress level means papunta na ng 100%. Nakakapag nagkakaroon pa rin ng time ang teacher na ngumiti, tumawa na lang doon sa mga stress or sa dami ng trabaho na ginagawa namin. And at the end of the day, na-accomplish din naman namin yung trabaho. And doon ako na-amaze sa kapangyarihan ng isang guro. Kasi parang feeling ko, para siyang si Naruto na may kagibunshin technique. Ang dami-dami niya ginagawa and na-execute naman niya ng maayos. So, I don't want to romanticize the struggles and the resilience of every teacher na lagi na lang nating i-appreciate na lagi naghihirap ang mga teacher, no? And hanggang doon na lang. 
Ayoko na ganun kasi teachers deserve more. They should be compensated really well. Sa dami ng trabaho nila, sa dami tra ng trabaho natin, kailangan bayad din tayo ng maayos. Lalong-lalo na ngayon na uh, pandemic na maraming nagsasabi sa atin na hindi na daw natin deserve yung sahod natin kasi hindi naman daw tayo yung nagtuturo sa mga bata. Especially kung yung area nyo ay gumagamit ng modular learning modality kasi syempre parents or yung capable older person na malapit nung sa bata ang nagtuturo ng concept ng bawat lesson. Lahat naman tayo na, uh, nag adjust sa new normal education and I think all education stakeholders are giving their contributions para mapagpatuloy natin itong education sa Pilipinas. And ako nga, kung gusto ko lang or kung kaya, di ba, pwede kong biakin yung katawan ko para lang mapuntahan yung mga bawat bata. Kasi kahit ako, gusto ko na din na magkaroon ng face-to-face -face classes. But unfortunately, sa dami ng active cases dito sa Pilipinas. So in the meantime, habang nagpaprint kami ng modules and uh, kami ang gumagawa ng mga tests, we appreciate all the parents, all the guardians of every pupil and learners or students na naghihirap din magturo. So, this Teacher's Day is also for you. May mga times na hindi mo na mamalayang gumagastos ka na galing sa sarili mong bulsa. Especially kapag may estudyante kang bigla-bigla na lang nagkakasakit or may gutom pala, may sumusuka kasi hindi nag-aalmusal sa bahay, walang pang-almusal. O kaya minsan may pa-blowout ka, especially during Christmas parties. Or minsan makikita mo yung estudyante mo na sira na yung gamit niya or sira na yung mga sinusuot niya papunta sa school. Siyempre maaawa ka as the second parent of those learners. Meron ding times na gagastos ka sa sarili mong bulsa para makapagpaganda ka lang ng classroom mo. Although this is not uh, mandatory, no? Pero kasi may mga teachers talaga na gustong maganda yung classroom para kapag pumunta na yung mga estudyante, mararamdaman nila na masaya mag-aaral, di ba? Tsaka maganda din naman kasi tingnan kung maganda ang classroom. And speaking of that, you'll also be responsible kapag may bagsak na estudyante sa klase mo. Kasi kailangan, meron tayong na-prepare na remediation activities, interventions na pinaprepare para makasabay yung bata sa iba't iba pa niyang mga kaklase. Minsan, magigising ka na lang in the middle of the night kung may problema ba sa'yo, may kulang ba sa'yo kung bakit hindi mo na-deliver ng maayos yung lesson dun sa bata na yon? Minsan mapapaisip ka kung anong milagro ang kailangan para mabago or matransform yung bata. And syempre, kailangan kasanggaan mo din dito ang parent or yung guardian para talagang masigurado nating ma-improve yung kalagayan ng bata. Kapag nasa field ka na rin, you'll discover the different stories of every learners na mamimit mo. Kung hindi man nila sabihin sa'yo or kung hindi man sila mag-open sa'yo, madi-discover mo din yan. And from that, you'll realize why they behave that way, why they act that way. Na imbis na magalit ka sa kanila kapag naging makulit sila, maaawa ka kasi malalaman mo kung saan sila nanggagaling. Mahirap maging teacher pero wala naman kasi madaling trabaho kahit saan ka pumunta. Lahat may kanya-kanyang issues, may kanya-kanyang joys, achievements, Uh, moments of pride, struggles, and challenges. But I believe it is only in teaching where we can find or we can see people transform for the better. It is only in teaching na nakikita natin pwede palang magbago ang isang bata, no? Pwede palang magbago ang isang tao. Yung akala mo wala ng pag-asa na makapagbasa, nakakapagbasa. Yung hindi marunong magsulat ng maayos, minsan nagkakaroon ng milagro, nagiging magaling, nagiging writer. Yung mga pasaway, nagiging mabait. Sometimes you'll feel that you're in the wrong environment. Yung tipong, yung environment mo, punong-puno ng inggit, ng competition lagi. Laging may compare na isang teacher sa isa pa. May rivalry, may jealousy, may chismis. Oh, no. May mga ganyan. Ngayon, kung ganun yung environment mo, always remember that it's better to be alone than to be with the wrong people. You have to focus on yourself. Sometimes, you'll feel na kahit anong trabaho mo, kahit anong paghihirap yung ginagawa mo, hindi ka na-appreciate. Na, kumbaga, nakakaramdam ka ng inggit kasi yung iba, although parehas lang kayo ng ginagawa, sila rewarded, sila napapansin, bakit ikaw hindi? Please stop hurting yourself. Stop comparing your achievements with the achievements of other people kasi mahihirapan ka at masasaktan ka lang. Focus on your own achievements. Focus kung paano ka magiging mas 
mabuti at mas maging kapaki-pakinabang na empleyado. Mag-aral ka, maging initiative ka, mag-start ka ng iba't ibang mga intervention or reading programs, uh, mathematical programs para sa mga bata, numerical programs, numeracy or literacy programs para sa mga struggling learners natin. Maging active ka and time will come, you'll be rewarded for your efforts. At kung bihira lang or wala pang nagsasabi sa'yo, I am very proud of you. Alam kong nahihirapan ka or nakaka-experience ka ng maraming challenges and stress. Kasi ganun din naman ang nararamdaman ko minsan. Pero look at you now. Especially sa mga subscribers ko na nag-message sa akin na nakapasok na sila sa DepEd. Tingnan mo, nandyan ka na. Congratulations and I'm very, very proud of you. Lastly, dahil Teacher's Day, never forget to take care of yourself. Kung baga, lahat ng gagawin mong trabaho, always do them in the official hours of duty whether it's skeletal workforce or work from home. Kung baga, kung 7.30 to 5 o'clock lang in the afternoon ang official hours mo as a teacher, doon mo lang gawin ang trabaho. Huwag mong hahayaan na kakainin ng trabaho mo ang personal time mo kasi marami ka pang iba't ibang roles. Anak ka, nanay ka, tatay ka, kuya ka, breadwinner ka, jowa ka, kaibigan ka. Marami pang nangangailangan sa'yo. And syempre, hindi lang naman ang pagiging teacher ang buong buhay mo. Marami ka pang gustong gawin. Make time for yourself. Respect your personal time. Take care of yourself. Magpaganda ka. Mag-exercise ka. Kumain ka ng healthy foods. Maging blooming ka. Maging fresh from the farm ka. Mag-skincare routine ka. Huwag kang magpalunod sa stress kasi kapag nalunod ka sa stress, magkakasakit ka. Pag nagkasakit ka, mga hospital ka. Pag nag-hospital ka, mamamatay ka. Gusto mo yon. Ngayong Teacher's Day and papalapit na din ang holidays, ang tanging wish ko lang is itaas pa ang sahod ng mga teachers, especially sa mga private school teachers. Kasi lahat naman tayo, whether public or private, pare-pare sa'yo ng trabaho eh. And I believe, I firmly believe, that teachers should be compensated really well. Kasi if the country needs competent teachers, the country should pay them well. Tsaka pang Lazada na din yun. Once again, happy Teacher's Day sa ating lahat. And this video is brought to you by Twinkle. And you can check the description box below for the freebie from Twinkle. At shout out po kay Teacher Debbie Samar Boragay, Gwen Atiga Repolio, Nikki Kirao Peresu, Jessamine Marie, Rowena Guanzon, at April May Garcia Osorio. Happy Teacher's Day po sa inyo. At sa lahat ng mga videos ko tungkol sa DepEd Ranking, lesson ng tutorials, and other teacher-related stuff, ilalagay ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. And once again, this is Churniel. Thank you so much for watching. Again, happy World Teacher's Day sa ating lahat. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!